Good evening. So today I have a message for the BDS movement. You know, it must be so brave to be an anti-Israel BDS activist. It's so hard to allegedly fight colonialism by using colonialism. Yes, BDS is colonialism. It's so hard to fight colonialism by boycotting small local family businesses in Judea and Samaria while promoting big corporations who are not colonialists at all. It's so hard to follow the narrative of mediocre little starlets who understand everything about politics and agree with you. It's so hard to be an anti-Semite and boycott a country and a religion just like everyone else all throughout history. It's so hard and so brave to push the Western media's narrative while ignoring what actually happens in Israel, Judea and Samaria and Gaza. It's so hard to fight Israeli colonialism with the entire world standing behind you and sharing your twisted narrative. It's so hard. It's so brave to go into Hebron and tease those bad Jews who only seek to defend their families from those nice terrorists who keep on innocently murdering Jews whenever they can. So brave, so brave to fight against Israel's oppressive walls that were built to prevent Palestinians from murdering innocent Jewish children and families. And still, Despite those walls, they managed to murder rabbis and their families. It's so oppressive. Those evil Jewish walls that keep families alive are really, really colonialist. It's, it's, oh. You know, it's so brave to fight against Israeli apartheid while ignoring apartheid against Jews in all Middle Eastern countries, including areas under a terrorist organization named Palestinian Authority, which is occupying Jewish land. But there's only, apartheid only matters if it's in Israel. It's so brave, so brave to say Kaddish for terrorists, the poor Gaza terrorists who were silking to, seeking to infiltrate Israel to destroy as much as they could and murder as much as they could of those evil Israelis. So hard, so hard. It's so against the machine to embrace anti-Semitic, anti anti-Zionist propaganda that both extreme right-wing the Nazis, left-wing and centrists spread about Israel. It's so against the machine to embrace the world's narrative on Israel. It's so rebellious to spread doctored propaganda to defend lies spread by the most reputable and most well-known Western media about Israel. It's so hard to fight. You're so oppressed for spreading the same lies everyone else is spreading. It's really, really hard not to do your research and just spread around the same lies. It's really hard not to do your research. It's so hard, so hard to go on a free birthright trip just to brainwash young Jews to self-hate themselves and believe lies about the only country that stands between them and the new holocaust. It's so brave to teach Jews to hate other Jews. It's so brave to spread the blood libel. Because it's only right. It's only right. It must be so isolating. So isolating to spread the same intellectually dishonest lies that the rest of the world is because you're alone. It's so brave and so virtuous to spread Mufti and Nazi propaganda to defend a narrative that most anti-Semites spread while saying that it's justice for Palestinians. It's really brave. 
You are so virtuous for virtue signaling about a conflict you know nothing about, just to show how much you care about things that the vast majority of people who just like you are oppressed for their anti-Semitic mainstream ideology care. You know, you can't relate to anyone because everyone believes the same things as you, so you can't relate to everyone that thinks like you. Talk about colonialism. There's nothing more colonialist than a Jewish family business from Judea and Samaria trying to make a living. No, you should support those big corporations that donate money to nice terrorist organizations like Palestinian Authority and Hamas. It's really only natural to fight colonialism and injustice by depriving Jewish Israelis of their right to self-determination. It's just justice. It makes perfect sense to use Nazi and communist anti-Jewish propaganda to defend the Palestinians. It's really oppressive as a BDS activist when people call you out on using the eternal blood libel spread by all anti-Semitic people up until now, you know, since Christianity, the Romans, the same blood libels and use them as an excuse to eradicate and expel Jews from everywhere. You know, it's really, really, really hard to say that Jews don't belong in your country, but then you don't want them in Israel. It's such a nice way to wish for another holocaust and not voice it. It's so oppressive when Israelis call you out on using old Christian and hateful anti-Semitic propaganda to drive people to hate Israel and Jews. It's so hard to follow the UN's colonialistic agenda in Israel by removing Jewish rights of self-determination and a safe place to raise Jewish children because the, fall, the Balfour Declaration was colonialist. Yes, for Jews. They never intended to give Jewish their own land. All they wanted was control them. I'm sorry. Being an activist is so noble, so noble. Just go on the internet, take staged videos, never mind looking for the complete footage to try and see if there's something that you missed. No, just spread those doctored videos and make sure that the most people that think like you share them as well so that Jews keep on being vilified and vilified forevermore. It's so hard, you know, it's really hard to be you, the anti-Jewish BDS activist, you know. It's so hard to go into Jewish neighborhoods to provoke those Torah observant families whose main concern is keeping their families safe and insulting them and aggressing them, throw stones at them, and then only starting to record midway through the confrontations to appear as victims and vilify those poor Jewish families who just want to exist and have a right to have their own family and their own land. Because that's what Palestinians taught you to do. You're such a warrior of justice, fighting against virtually no one, because everyone is against Israel and spreads the same lies as you. And it's so hard to be noticed that you have to push it harder and make up even more lies than the ones that are already being spread. You're such a special snowflake. It's really hard to be you, defending terrorists and a cause that you don't understand fighting against a single country and sharing the same narrative all anti-Semitic organizations spread. You're great. You're so great that you can even erase Jewish history to place a non-existent people in a place they didn't exist. It's so great to destroy old archaeological sites just to disprove Jewish presence in the Middle East since three. 
you know, long before, long before the current era. Jews have been in Israel for 3,000 more years, 3,000, 3,500 years, 3,500 years. You know, there's such a need to, and, okay, that's what I wanted to call you, but you're such a genius that you managed to make the world forget how the Arab League attacked and tried to finish the Nazis' job of eradicating Jews and how Judea and Samaria were inv invaded by Jordan and taken advantage of prior. And then Israel got back Judea and Samaria. It's so convenient to be you and ignore that the word Jew in most languages stands for one that comes from Judea. So how can Judea be Palestinian when you don't call Palestinians Jews? You don't call them Judeos. You don't call them Judeos. You call them Palestinians. But in fact, they're Jordans. They're Arabs. You're such a gentle soul, really, that you code things and lies from muftis that worked with Nazis just to justify your pro-Palestinian stance and anti-Semitism. You're so dedicated to justice that you defend the Tamimis, a family whose family members cold-bloodedly killed and massacred Jews while working on a propaganda machine to demonize the idea of spreading lies. You're so brave when you insult and attack IDF while they oppressively ignore you instead of shooting you as they should and arresting you as most other armies in the world would. You're Jewish and a BDS activist. You're so brave to be a self-hating Jew who just to get social acceptance demonizes the state of Israel endangering thousands of Israelis just to get positive acceptance and social justice points. Okay. Really, just stop it. You're no heroes. You're misguided idiots spreading deadly lies that were used in the past to justify the murder of countless innocent Jews just for being Jews. The same lies being spread nowadays for the BDS by the BDS movement, Palestinian Authority, and all Arab countries is the very same lies that were spread by Christians, by Romans in the past, and everyone that tried to eradicate Jews in the past. You're no hero for going against Israel. You're no hero for spreading lies against Israel. Next time you want to talk about a political conflict, try to see the both sides of the question. Try to go to Arutz Sheva and read all the articles that come up of families being attacked innocently. Try to actually listen to what Palestinian Authority and Hamas say. They don't want you. They don't want peace. All they want is to kill Jews. They themselves tell them they want Jordan. They want their nation to be from Jordan to the sea. They are not Palestinians. They are Jordans. They're Arabs. They all they want is to eradicate Jews. Are you really, really that crazy that you keep on self-hating and spreading lies, and, oh my god. Mishat Hashem, you'll see the error of your ways. You have no idea what's going on. You have no idea. All you get is the media's narrative against Jews. You get all the lies being spread. Have you ever seen those videos unedited of, um, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen those unedited videos of Gaza are, you know, they even fly kites with swastikas. You know, it's really sad that you spread these lies against your own people if you're Jewish. You know, there's a great lesson in the Bible, even though most Jews that spread these lies they don't care about the Torah. 
there's a lesson. There's a lesson. It's not, you know, Judaism and the Torah is not telling you to be racist. It's telling you to protect yourself because when you go and you mingle and you start confusing yourself with the population it's when you're attacked and they try to eradicate you countless times whenever you settled and started mingling with the population adopting their habits they were always reminded that they were not they didn't belong that's what's happening today and it's bad because you are part of the problem. You're spreading propaganda that justifies the killing of Jews. People that celebrate the death of a rabbi who, father of six, was cold-bloodedly murdered. You justify international sanctions against people who are every day putting their lives on the line just to make Israel possible, just to make a place possible where Jews can be Jews. It's not fair of you to judge things based on your incorrect perspectives. You're, the UN has no right to determine who has the right to be in Israel. The UN is a corrupt hair of the League of Nations. They fail to prevent World War II. They fail to prevent, you know, it's not, you know, th this is not. Uh, just do your research. Stop going against Israel. Uh, I know I was a little angsty a little earlier, but it's because it drives me. It's it's really. I was. It's, it's really hard that while I was in Israel, you know, seeing missiles being thrown at Israel, and if it wasn't for the Iron Dome, you know, things would happen, and all the international media cared about was how many terrorists Israel killed, while ignoring that they could just start, it, start shooting, not worrying about who they were shooting, and still they managed to only kill terrorists. And the vast majority of the Gazan population is somehow connected to Hamas. So do your research, stop spreading propaganda. And I am trying to be nice, but it upsets me that the same propaganda that was used by the Inquisition to eradicate Jews here, the same propaganda that was used to by Nazis, is being used by the BDS movement against Jews nowadays. The accusations are the same, the context is different, but it doesn't matter. It can have the same deadly consequences and it's having the actual deadly consequences because the UN doesn't want Israel to have the right to defend itself. And it's not fair. And I don't care about what you think. Judea is Israeli. It's not West Bank, Bank. at least it's at the most, it's East Bank. Uh, but no. Israel is for, the, for Jews, and Judea and Samaria are and belong to Israel. And uh, 
if Palestinians wanted peace, there would be peace. And if Israeli, Israelis really wanted to destroy Palestinians, they would. So do your research and stop being ignorant. Bye, that's it for this video.